Murphy don't put his name to a gun he don't believe. Hey, partner. You surely won't regret a purchase. That was a hell of a storm last month. Hell of a storm. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. There was only years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that Wes Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed Funko artist I've never met. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Yeah. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Not Marshal, four vultures. God damn it! Come on, let's take a look.
Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Go! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry! Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Let's search. Nobody's in the shed! There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> You and me gonna have ourselves some fun. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. And keep your head down. Who's out there? 
there's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes come on they're gonna get away hurry boys come on Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got.
Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail.